What's up everybody? It's Ennis here and welcome to another episode. This week we're in Malibu, California and about to tour this beautiful modern home that was built in 2016. House gets phenomenal views of the Pacific Ocean, so we get a really good tour ahead of us. Now, specs of the property, we have five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 8,800 square feet of interior space, built on a 43,561 square foot lot, and this property is currently on the market for $16,995,000, and it is also available for short-term rentals. As always, you can find more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the house representative, Khaled, for getting us in here and allowing us to tour their amazing listing. And now, let's begin our tour. House is nicely set back from the street level and we have the gates opening up to this long patterned driveway that brings you to this spacious motor court. As you're driving down, everything is beautifully landscaped. You have all these trees, flowers around you, and it brings you down to here and the surroundings here, the landscaping is super serene and peaceful. Yeah, it's really beautiful in Malibu. We don't get to come out here very often, but I'm always glad when we do. Absolutely. And the backyard is amazing. We're going to see that in a bit. Now, let's cover the spacious motor court. Obviously, we have some really cool cars here. On my right-hand side, we have the Rolls-Royce Phantom. It sits really nicely on this driveway, and I love these things. Not that it's I'm age-appropriate for a car like this, but it just, they look so beautiful. Let's be real. You'd get one if you could. Yeah, I probably would. Yeah. All right. Uh, on our left-hand side, we have a Maserati. And again, landscaping here is simply phenomenal. On this driveway, you can probably park easily 15 to 20 cars and at the end Mikey we have three car garages that opens up to this driveway and now let's talk about the exterior facade of this property beautiful modern design smooth stock exterior complemented with the stone clad on the right hand side a lot of unique roof lines and of course since we're here in Malibu a lot of windows and sliding glass doors opening up to the front of the home as well as to the backyard now the last part is here which is this covered entry I love the wall sconces and the chandelier above and the glass pivot door here. Let's go inside. Before we continue with our tour, I want to talk about this week's video sponsor, Ren. This year, Turkey experienced the hottest summer in recorded history. My home country is particularly vulnerable to climate change. And while visiting a few months ago, I was able to see and feel the impact of rising temperatures firsthand. If climate change is something that you also care about and want to take action, REN offers an easy and meaningful way to make an impact. REN allows you to calculate your carbon footprint, then offset it by funding projects that plant trees and protect rainforests. On their website, you can answer a few questions about your lifestyle to find out your carbon footprint and what you can do to reduce it. Based on these findings, you can adjust your lifestyle in order to minimize your contribution to our planet's carbon emission. Of course, no one can reduce their carbon footprint to zero. So what you can do is offset what you have left through funding various projects. Once you sign up to make a monthly contribution to offset your carbon footprint, you receive monthly updates from the tree planting, rainforest protection, and other projects you support. You can see the trees you planted and what your money is spent on. It will take a lot to end climate crisis, but you can start helping today by learning more on ren.co slash start slash NS plus. I've partnered with Rand to plant 10 extra trees for the first 100 people who signed up using my referral link below. So make sure to check them out and support them in making our planet a more livable place. And now let's get back to our tour. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry. As soon as you walk into this property, the first thing you see is the incredible views of the Pacific Ocean. We have the grand living room in front of us, sliding glass doors opening up to the patio. These are phenomenal, and we're gonna cover them in a bit. But first, I wanna take actually everybody here to the powder room off of the entry. Beautiful natural stone floors. We have the floating vanity set up here with LED lighting. 
marble countertops. And if you look at the sink, we have this recessed in sink design here and the cover plate is built out of the same marble. Looks super cool. Nice textured back wall and we have the water closet around the corner. Now getting back out and we are at the entry now, right on the other side, we have the formal dining room area. I love the ceiling heights here, beautiful chandeliers above us, wall sconces to kind of warm up the space and we have the table right in the center that sits 10 people. I love these vertical glass details facing the front of the property. Great room, gets ton of natural light and of course it's complemented with this wine cellar here, open shelving, LED lighting detail, all these upper racks, great space right next to our dining room. Now I want to take everybody back to the entry because right across we have this open grand living room area. Beautiful furniture set up here and of course the first thing I'm going to point out is this linear gas fireplace clad with marble all the way to the ceiling. Double height ceilings here and I love this wood clad detail that they have over the kitchen area as well. Just warms up the space and if you look at the floors here we have these natural stone tiles with shelves inside giving you that beachy texture and of course you have your sliding Fleetwood glass doors here pocketing into the walls opening up this grand living room area to your covered outdoor space and to your amazing views it's phenomenal and they carried out the same natural stone tiles also on the patio space as well I wanted to point that out now right next to your grand living room we have the kitchen and we're going to come to it in a bit but first I want to take everybody here you have your informal dining area complemented with the sliding glass doors opening up to that covered patio your family room here, comfortable seating section. Across from that we have the TV unit with open shelving, nice modern detail and the room flows to the space where we have the sunken bar. And what I mean by sunken, this section right here is a little bit lowered. That way you can kind of serve your um, guests. They can sit on the bar seating. I love the natural stone that they have throughout with the waterfall edge, a lot of cabinetry. Of course you have your fridge, ice maker, sink. And this is super cool. We have these sliding glass doors pocketing into the walls here, opening up the sunken bar to the outdoors. That way you can serve your family room or your amazing backyard. You have your kegerator here. Your 75 foot infinity edge pool is right around the corner. This is phenomenal. And of course, this room opens up to the backyard with this sliding glass doors, and you have an additional one right here going to your covered patio space. Now, Mikey, let's bring everybody to this side to talk about this amazing kitchen. Flat panel cabinetry throughout, nice two-tone contrast. We have the massive island here, but first I wanna talk about this one. This island almost serves as your service counter for your dining area. I like the glass countertops here with the flush finish. You have all these drawers on the bottom. And focusing here, you have your main island clad with marble throughout with the waterfall edge, bar seating. We have our first sink on this side, microwave, more base cabinets and focusing here Mikey we have the Wolf gas range commercial vent above backsplash detail and cabinets run all the way flush to the ceiling which is really nice now the last part is this wing on the kitchen you have your first fridge here second fridge on the other side your built-in oven two dishwashers one right here another one on this side and your second sink pretty spacious kitchen and it actually continues because we have this back hallway connects you to the formal dining room area and across from that we have the chef's kitchen more base cabinets more uppers same marble countertops are also here this door opens up to the pantry for the chef's kitchen and over on this side we have a viking gas stove your third sink your third dishwasher and check this out mikey your third fridge i mean what else you need gotta have three that's right all right mikey let's take everybody here we have few bedrooms on this hallway. I'm going to start with this one right here. It's a nice spacious room facing the front of the property. We have the French doors opening up around the corner. You have full bathroom and every single bedroom in this house is actually quite spacious, has the same hardwood floors. Now going around, we have the laundry room at the end of this hallway, washer, dryer, a lot of base cabinets and uppers. This door opens up to the three car garage that we pointed out earlier. And these are hallway closets. Now, continuing our tour back to the hallway, this door opens up to another spacious bedroom located on this wing with sliding glass doors opening up to a really cool patio that we're gonna see in a bit. Of course, this bedroom has a full bathroom and a walk-in closet as well. Now, Mikey, can we point up to the ceiling for a second? 
Those are actually dimmed skylights. They have a frosted glass detail, so I wanted to point that out. And this is a cool detail. We have an exterior door here opening up to that patio space. In fact, Mikey, why don't we go in to the third bedroom to check out a little bit more in detail. Same French oak hardwood floors are also here. King size bed on my left. You got a cozy gas fireplace, just like the other rooms that we saw. Nice seating area. And the detail I like here, Mikey, is the fact that you have two Fleetwood sliding glass doors opening up to this zen low patio space. I don't know, something about these small intimate patio spaces that I like. You can't see any neighbors here. And it's shared by the second bedroom that we saw earlier. That's the exterior door off of the hallway. Nice space. Now, Michael, let's take everybody inside to continue our tour. Of course, each one of these bedrooms comes with a walk-in closet. Nice spacious one over here. And around the corner, we have the full bathroom. Floating vanity design with same style cabinetry that we've been seeing throughout the property. Stone countertops, casement window on the left. Since we're here in Malibu, it's nice to have some ventilation. The weather is pretty much perfect throughout the year. And on this side, we have this spacious walk-in shower. Glass mosaic tiles on the floors. Glass tiles on the walls that runs all the way to the ceiling. Chrome fixtures. Good size walk-in shower. Very nice. And you said this was also a short-term rental, right? Correct. And how much, do, on average, does it go for? I think it goes somewhere around five to $10,000 per night. I mean, keep in mind, Mikey, this is a $17 million property, so. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's really not that bad for Malibu, being this close to the beach and everything you have, and we're not that far from LA. It's a nice little drive up here, and you know. You just... It's quiet and serene up here, though. Yeah, I just <laughs> wanna go out there with our Radden board and, and uh, do some uh, or the paddle jet board. boarding. Catch some waves. A little choppy today, but yeah. It is a little choppy today. Yeah, I have to agree with you. Yeah. All right, now we're in the junior primary bedroom. Obviously, it's more spacious than the bedrooms that we saw earlier. You still get your king size bed, seating section, gas fireplace, TV above, sliding glass doors open up to that phenomenal backyard. But first, Mikey, let's take everybody through here. We have a nice pocket door opening up to this spacious bathroom, natural stone floors. We have a freestanding tub on my right hand side with chrome fixture, casement windows facing the amazing views and around the corner, let me show it to everyone. We have this massive walk-in shower with glass details and I personally really like this threshold detail that they have clad with marble that runs up to the edges. Now right on the other side we have another floating vanity, two sinks, chrome fixtures, marble countertop. And around the corner, we have a water closet, and this door opens up to a spacious walk-in closet for all your clothes. Very nice. Great. Now, Mikey, let's take everybody outside. It is super sunny today, so I'm gonna put my glasses on. Sliding glass doors from the junior primary bedroom opens up to this amazing outdoor space. I mean, let's take a moment here. Let's enjoy the waves rolling in, the views here, palm trees, your 75 foot by 25 foot infinity edge pole with zero edge. This is stunning, so relaxing out here. So wait, what is an infinity edge with zero edge? So infinity edge is where you have the view, Mikey, and zero edge is here. Let's take a quick look while we are at it. You see how the water just kind of disappears at the coping? I should have been able to put that together. I think I've been on enough of these house tours, you know? Exactly, so that's your zero edge. The whole pool is clad with mosaic tile. It looks super inviting. Look at this long Baja shelf that leads you to your spa. I mean, this is amazing, Mikey. Yeah, it really is. Super nice, and let's take a quick look at this amazing backyard. That's your family room bar right there, opening up to the outdoors. I mentioned it earlier, same natural stone floors are also here. This is where we have the covered patio space. You have three ceiling fans above, outdoor fireplace with a TV, nice seating area over there. And on this side, we have an outdoor dining area. Also, I have to point out, copper gutters throughout the property because we're right by the ocean. Had to point that out. And this whole outdoor space is complemented with this water feature. And my personal favorite detail about the water feature is the towel installation here that creates this texture that way as the water running down, it kind of hits all these different surfaces and creates that tranquil sound. Yeah, you already have the sound of the water, but the sound of the fountain also even better. That's right. Now, Mikey, sliding glass doors on my left opens up from the primary bedroom and leads you to the backyard. We can see the primary bedroom in a bit, but I want to take everybody to this side. You have all these lounging areas and the patio continues. Around the corner, we have this door opening up to a full bathroom that serves your pool area. And of course, this outdoor space 
also have this barbecue area here with concrete countertops and your wolf gas grill. Now, right next to the barbecue area, we have this covered gazebo space, super cozy. We have the outdoor seating area here, your fire pit, TV, wood class ceilings with built-in speakers, recessed lights. And what I like about this space is the glass wall assembly here, protecting the gazebo from the high winds that comes from the ocean side since we are here in Malibu. Yeah, it gets pretty windy in Malibu. It's a pretty windy day today. As a pro windsurfer, how, how are the conditions out there? It looks really enticing. It looks really enticing. You want to get out there? Good yeah. word. Good word. Yeah, uh, but not today. Yeah. We got houses to shoot. Yeah, there we go. All right, so it's a great space. And Mikey, it's right next to your amazing pool. I mean, your friends are going to swim here, your family. You're going to enjoy the outdoor space. This is phenomenal. And another detail I want to point out here. This backyard, this is going to sound a little bit odd to some of our audience, but Malibu is known for their electrical poles here and there. Like the infrastructure is not like that advanced. It runs up and down the Pacific Coast Highway. Exactly. Uh, pretty much, what, for... For, for as for long the, as Malibu, the, really. Yeah, for the, all of Malibu, yeah. Exactly. And the owners here actually spend the money and bury the lines underground. That way it takes nothing away from your amazing views. You don't have any electrical poles or anything. It's just a nice detail, so I wanted to point that out. Yeah. Now, that's it for the right wing of the house and the backyard. Now I want to take everybody back to the entry so we can continue our tour from there. So we're back at the entry of this property and going to the left wing, we have this hallway taking us a few rooms and at the end we have the primary bedroom. This door opens up to a bedroom with two single beds and the room has French doors leading us to the front of the property. This door right here opens up to a spacious screening room, comfortable couch setup across from the built-ins and right in the center, we have the projector screen drop down and here's the guy touring a really nice property in Calabasas. Was that Ryan Serhan? I don't know, I don't know who he is. <laughs> but if you guys know, let us know in the comment section below. We have the bar set up here, more built-ins with a fridge, good size screening room. Mikey, let's take everybody back to the hallway Again, beautiful French oak hardwood floors, nice shelving detail here with LED lighting, perfect place for you to feature some of your art. And this massive door here opens up to the primary bedroom suite. Before we check out the bedroom, why don't we start our tour with the bathroom. Natural stone floors right in the center. We have this massive freestanding tub with chrome fixture. And behind that, sectioned up with this glass, we have a spacious walk-in shower with two chrome fixtures, handheld, and a nice linear window design above, bringing natural light to the space. I mean, great size walk-in shower. And Mikey, over here, we have a floating vanity design that actually extends out on the left, chrome fixtures, oversized window, and right here, we actually have the second vanity set up with pretty much same finishes. Now, water closet is here, I wanted to point that out. And going through this door, we have the walk-in closet. I mean, you have all these open shelving details, wardrobes, drawers. Even this space gets great natural light. And I like this marble countertop details that they have on each side. Now, let's take everybody back to the hallway, Mikey, so we can check out the primary bedroom suite. Another detail I want to point out are these flush baseboard details. It's always a nice modern touch. And following this hallway, it takes us to the primary bedroom suite. King size bed on this side with wall sconces and focusing here, we have two casement windows bringing more natural light to the space and we also have automatic shades throughout the property. Now over here we have an iPad because this entire house is wired with Kreshan system. That way with a push of a button you can control the lighting, music, shades, TVs, anything you want throughout the property. So I wanted to mention that. Now across from the king size bed, we have the fireplace here, TV above, another seating section, great size room. And Mikey, can we take everybody outside one more time? I mean, look at this. From your primary bedroom suite, you walk straight to your amazing backyard. That's your infinity edge pool and the amazing views of the ocean. That's it for the tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video. 
It's a beautiful property, and throughout the day, we looked at the phenomenal views of the ocean. As always, you can find more information about the property down in the description of this video. And before we end this tour, I want to thank the house representative, Khalid, for getting us in here and allowing us to tour their amazing listing. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.